bootstrap model. This is the thing that we are going to learn in this tutorial that how to create a model and how to orient your contents in between as we have done here. So practically this is the part that we are going to learn from this tutorial so stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. If we just left click on this large model box, then we can see that another overlaying box drops down and we can see that there are many contents inside and these contents can be rapidly changed. You can place here a particular form field or you can place here a table, whatever you want. So this is the thing we are practically going to learn in this tutorial. In doing so, the first thing we are going to type in this one, model bootstrap. And once we place a search button, we can see that model bootstrap appears at the second position, which reflects the official bootstrap site. And if you just click onto it, you will be reaching to this page. And from here, I will be copying this thing. First of all, I am copying it. Now let's get back to our project. And here, in this deep class container banner 5, where I have created a call LG12. That means I am using here, I am consuming all those 12 grids. All I am going to do inside this call LG12, I am going to place them. I am going to paste that we have copied. Now we need to orient them. First of all, let's check it. What is the result of this coding so far? All we need to do, we need to press Ctrl and get back to our project and reload. Now we can see that this large model box, this blue box practically appears over here. Now all we need to do, if we click over there, we can see that, that this model box appears has been occurred. This is practically the model box that we were talking about. Now you may arise the question that how comes that this thing is working all about this, all these things are about just copy pasting. No, it is not just about copy pasting. You have linked this bootstrap.min.css. Now we have again linked another things over here, this JavaScript file which is known as bootstrap.min.js and another thing that is required in this purpose is this jQuery 1.11.1.min.js. If in case we do not use this thing here, suppose that we are not using any this kind of jQuery over here. Now just press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload. Now you click and you can see that nothing is happening. Go to your Google web browser, open it, press F12. Now you can see that, that it is already showing you an error. Now if you click over here, you can see that here it is written as uncaught error bootstraps JavaScript requires jQuery. That means the same jQuery that were missing from here. This jQuery wasn't here. And that is why this kind of error it is practically executing. On clicking this, you can see nothing is happening. And this is the exact cause to that error. That is why we require a jQuery prior to this. Now, in another instance, if we are placing this jQuery right beneath this bootstrap.min.js, now if we reload and we can see that still that error is being executed over here, that means this particular jQuery it should always come before rendering of the bootstrap.min.js. That is why we need to place this jQuery right above this bootstrap.min.js such that on page loading this required jQuery loads first and then comes your bootstrap.min.js. Now just press Ctrl S and get back to your project and reload and now you can see that error is practically gone. It is practically seem to be working here. Now the rest of the things is putting some contents inside it. Inside this modal content, we have to place every kind of contents here. Now prior to this, first of all, we are... And at the end of this, we are using a clear fix class. There you go. Now inside this call LG8, we are placing this one. Press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload. Now you can see that your large model, it is practically working over here. We have to create, as we have created over here, 
this header box and this footer one where we have a close button. We have to get back to our Google modal bootstrap part. This is the header and this is the footer. Deep class modal header and all we need to do we need to copy this thing and we have placed it inside this modal content. Press Ctrl S, get back to your project, reload. Now you can see that a modal title now this thing practically it requires some modification. You see here that modal title it is practically looking a little bit of uppish and this uh, close button it is just getting down. So all we need to do we need to rectify all those things and that is why we need to make some customization. Moreover we need to provide a particular background to this one and then it will be appearing into another background over here all those short of things. So these are the things that we need to take care. That is why we are pressing F12. Now if we just click on this button we can see that this modal header dot close button it, it is having a margin top of minus 2 pix. So if we just change it to let's see it is experimental. So we are now changing it to 20 pix and we can see that this thing can be solved all of both of these two things, this uh, modal title and this close button, they are practically getting aligned with this. On the other hand, we have to take care, we have to think about this one too. So I think it is pretty much in line. It seems to be in line. That is what it is doing so far. All we are doing, we are just copying this class name and we are getting back to our custom.css in first of all in index.html we have to see this is this banner 5. So all this type of customization it should come right under this banner 5. Here it is. Now if we just inside and here we are providing a margin top of minus 20 pigs. Reload. Come back and you can see that it is working. In the second case all you are doing here you are practically using an H3 class, not an H5 one. So this is the H3. You need to make this change. Now here it is. We are using a H3 title tag over here. So that is what it is executing. But still now we can see that it is not in line. So that is what we need to rectify. Get back to custom.css and here just change it to minus 30 pigs. And we can see that both of them are in line. Press Ctrl Shift M to switch on to your mobile responsive preview and you can see that in this case too it is in line and there is no trouble, no overlapping, no horizontal scroller that appearing, that's appearing over here. And rotate this one you see it is working again, no problem. Okay we are good to go so far.